Hi everyone, in this video we're going to remove echo from our recordings. This is something that I shot in my kitchen. Never record in your kitchen, it's so echoey. I'm going to play it a couple of times with the effects that we do on and off so you can kind of hear the difference and then we'll get started. You ready? Uh, we'll start with it sounding very echoey. Kia ora, uh, today I'm going to take you through my way of choosing fonts. Kia ora, uh, today I'm going to take you through my way of choosing fonts. Kia ora, uh, today I'm going to take you through my way of choosing fonts. I might have overcooked mine a tiny bit in this tutorial, but but it's pretty amazing what you can do with the reduce reverb effect in Premiere Pro. Let's jump in and get to it. All right, let's start with importing from the sound folder, something called Echo, and let's make a new sequence from it. And let's use our shortcut Option Plus to zoom in on the audio. Have a little look, let's listen. Kia ora, uh, today I'm going to take you through my way Pretty bad. So I'll set my I key, my O key, make sure that I've got the loop playback on if you can't see it. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm gonna take you through my way. Kia ora. Okay, so it's pretty bad. Um, never record anything in your kitchen, even if you think it's a really good intro to a show. Um, anything with hard services is bad for echo. Um, so let's click on it. Okay, and let's go, you are dialogue. And we're under the repair, okay? And you want this one here, it's called reverb. So you're not allowed to call it echo. I've called it echo because that's what everyone calls it. But if you're in the sound game, you are calling that echo is wrong. You've got to call it reverb. Okay, so what we need to do is reduce reverb. And there's not a lot we can do. You just drag it up and down and decide on if it's enough. So let's have a maximum amount. Let's have a listen. Uh, today, I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. It's pretty cool, like it's not good, like it's way too high, but it's amazing how much echo you can get rid of. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to... Now you would have noticed there that I'm not dragging it up and down while it's playing. You might have run into this earlier in the course when we started sound, well, a couple of videos ago. So I should have probably thrown it in there, but let's watch what happens. I'm going to hit play I'm gonna take you through and drag my this way. up and down. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today. Okay, I'm just kind of like listening with my ear going like how much of this can I apply because it does adjust as we're going. What you might find is, especially if you're using this one. Today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Watch what happens uh, when I drag it up I'm and down. Today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to take you Can you see all these like keyframes that are appeared? Yours might not have happened. You might not be playing it this way. If you play it this way and start dragging this up and down, it adds a bunch of keyframes. Basically it's going up and down while I was dragging it. Can you see? Let's watch this number here amount. You see it goes up. Kia ora. Uh, today up I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. So I, that's a pain in the bum. I don't know how to, well, I know how to stop it. Um, you can turn those off, delete the keyframes. And now what we'll do is we'll play it. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Basically start at one side and keep going until you notice it and then come back. So I like starting at the top and just keep lowering it until I feel like it's gone and that's reduced reverb. You can go into here and have a look, you know, because it's a reverb um, effect. Go to edit. There's not a lot you can do in here. Um, you can just drag the slider up and down, which is the same as doing it over here. There's some presets, but basically they just move this to, <laughs> they just move that slider up and down. So there's not a lot you can do. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. Kia ora. Uh, today I you can see what it's doing. Light reverb. Okay, so um, one thing that I'll mention here as well is we've been using like dialogue, slide reverb, go into here. If you know you just need reverb, you can go to your effects. Okay, mine are over here in this kind of workspace and just type in D reverb. Okay, and just go straight to the source and just drag it straight on. There's nothing different here, but you'll probably find you'll end up adding a few of them. So in this case, um, you know, that's it. Add reverb, lower reverb. It's not going to get rid of everything, but it's pretty amazing how much it can get rid of. But if you're like, oh, there's still a hint of reverb, it's pretty impossible if it's really bad. And um, in my experience, next thing I want to show you is like often we're not just doing these things in isolation. Like I was using this lapel mic and it was okay. Now there's a bunch of stuff you can hear in the background. Now in this clip, there's always a bit of pre-roll you can find. I've left this bit in here. There's like, it's just me not doing anything. So let's have a look. Like, uh, actually, let's clear the in and outs and let's see what else I can get rid of. I like to work in these uh, echo. You need to listen to the dialogue. But over here, there's no echo, but there's some stuff going on. Junk, noise floor. Let's have a look. So I want to find a bit that not doing my 
sucking lips and <laughs> drinking stuff. So something like that. Let's preview that. You see so much going on. Okay, so what I want to do is a couple of things. And it's this balancing act now that I've shown you noise and isolation and dehum and isolation and DSing and all that sort of stuff. So it gets to jobs like this where you need a bit of it all. And why do you need it all? Because reduce noise, especially if you're in this bit, if I just turn on reduce noise and crank it up, watch this. It just goes flat and you're like, done. Job done. Okay, the problem is, is that when you add that much level of uh, denoising to uh, the dialogue as well. Get up. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. It's not too bad. Get up. Uh, today I'm going to take you through my way. It makes me sound Get up. a little bit robotic. Okay, so what you need to do is this balancing of all of these. Okay, reduce reverb. Okay, get it to a nice point. Make sure the dialogue's okay. And in this case, the noise are just sounding a bit too robotic. So and today I'm going to take you through my way. I'm trying to find a nice place. And the other bit is adding a bit of, in my case, I'm in my kitchen. There is this de hum in here. I can kind of hear it when I was practicing. Okay. So I'm going to set my out point and I'm going to listen. Now this is a little hard, you know, get the file yourself, set the in and out points, play around with the dehum on and off. I'm in Ireland, so it's going to be probably the uh, 50 Hertz. I know because it's me. <laughs> I know where I live. Okay. But there's going to be this balance of how much dehumming versus how much noise to get it to sound like pretty clear here without the dialogue sounding bad. So kind of something like this where you can hear a bit of it all. Cut up. Cut up. Now just turning the hum on and off while it's playing. Let's go to this one. Cut up. Cut up. Okay, and just have a listen yourself and work out this kind of balancing of all of the different parts because the dehummer, remember, what was your dehummer? It removes like certain parts of the frequency, not all of my voice, whereas the denoiser, which is like a blanket one, kind of gets rid of lots of voice or lots of background noise. It's pretty, you know, it mixes, messes with my voice quite a bit. So it's nice to just get in these tiny little pieces removed from my voice rather than this big kind of chunk that gets removed. Get up. Okay, large kind of parts anyway, and these low frequencies. So it's a little bit of each tweaking, finding what works for you in your situation. Also, before we go, if you haven't seen it, uh, I'll play you a snippet. Here are, that's what this recording was from. Let me play you just the first few seconds. Kia ora. Uh, today, I'm going to take you through my way of choosing fonts. All right, so uh, that was where I shot it for, and just a little intro for these kind of sort of things. If you haven't seen the Bring It Up Top Show, it's free, it's on YouTube, check it out, so like and subscribe. It's kind of uh, short pieces. Edutainment is what it's called, um, a little bit lighter and less software focused than what we're doing here. And um, what you might have noticed, or well, if you heard it there, the echo is still there. Why is the echo still there? It happens to me all the time. I'm in Premiere Pro, I'm fixing stuff, turning it on and off, but it's part of like that one there is like an hour long. So there's like a hundred little changes that I've made and I've gone and done something like this where I've turned it off, turned it on, oh, it's great, and then left it off and rendered and it's gone out. And because it's a production team of two, or well, for that show, that particular episode, it was just a production um, team of one, just me re recording, editing, and end up just <laughs> leaving it off. Spent a lot of work getting rid of the echo and left it on. And it's now stuck in YouTube and you can't replace it. So there you go. All right, that is it. Removing echo, but you got to call it reverb from now on. I'll see you in the next video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to go further with Premiere Pro, you might want to join me for my larger courses. Okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.